Hi, today I want to talk to you about entrepreneurs that know when to say yes. Saying yes is important and critical to making business decisions, but busy entrepreneurs, successful entrepreneurs also know when to say no, and they say no most of the time. Right, successful people know that their time and their goals are valuable and they cannot be saying yes to too many things. They need to balance their days out and that means they need to be saying no or they need to pass up or decline many things that are not in line with their goals and also what they need to achieve for the day. So for everyone, no matter how wealthy or successful you are, time is your most valuable asset and it's important that when you are approached with um, a question or continuous requests or demands throughout the day that you ask yourself these five questions that I'm going to be sharing with you. So question number one, does this request or demand or whatever someone is asking you to, to do, does this energize me? So you've got to determine whether the request or the demand is going to motivate you and inspire you? Is it going to keep you uh, excited? Is it going to bring out the energy in you? Um, and the opposite is, or, 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 is, is true as well. If it, if it doesn't, then is it going to drain you? Is it going to exhaust you? Is it going to set you up that you are not going to be able to complete any of your other tasks? So question number one, very important. Is this demand or request that someone is asking me to do, is this going to energize me? Question number two, is this aligned to my purpose, my core goals, and my values, right? So before answering this question, you must already know what is your purpose, what is your core goals, what is your uh, values? And then simply, does this request or demand fit and align with those core goals and values? Is it gonna bring you closer to achieving your goals and dreams um, by saying yes to this. Otherwise, you need to say no to that request. Um, anything that runs uh, against your goals and values, you need to really consider that uh, wholeheartedly and in most cases, you should consider declining um, that request. Question number three, would this enhance and help scale my business? So looking at the potential of this activity or this request or whatever it is that you're being asked to do, does this affect my business and does it affect my business positively? Will it enhance and will help me scale my business? Um, even if it's a, um, uh, I, I guess you've got to weigh this up and I'll get to it in a moment when it comes to personal requests, but this one is clearly focused on business requests and will it enhance your business and help your business uh, grow. And you know, sometimes the requests as well um, are for intangible things, making connections, but you've got to weigh up and say, is this a valuable connection that I'm going to make at the same time? So weighing up the consequences to your business is a critical question to ask yourself as well. Question number four, also a very important question. Could I use my time in a better way? Now this leads up to the first three questions as well. And you've got to understand and know what it is that you have scheduled for your day. And if you are saying yes to this, could you have said yes to something else that is going to be a better use of your time? And also, is this going to drain your energy? Because then you're not going to be able to do the other things that's on your to-do list. So it's important to review your goals, review what is your daily schedule, and understand that if you're gonna say yes to a particular task, is that the best use of your time, or could your time be spent somewhere else? One of the best things to consider as well with relation to these questions that um, we're asking um, yourself, that you've got to ask yourself, is do you have um, a team that is there to uh, to support you and are you able to delegate some of the activities and tasks that you are being requested to do. So um, important as well to leverage some of your team to be able to take um, take on some tasks 
that you don't have the time to do or that you, you can spend your time in a more productive way. And then very lastly, question number five, do the pros outweigh the cons? So if you are going to be saying yes to this question, right? What are the advantages? What are the disadvantages? What are the pros and the cons? Um, and if there are more pros, then yes, certainly you want to uh, consider doing the task and, you know, vice versa. If there are more cons, then you definitely want to be saying no to this activity, this task, this request that people are, are asking for you, right? Do you ultimately benefit more from saying yes than you would lose if you were to do this activity task or, or undertaking or request that people are, are asking? So would the best decision be to pursue something um, that does not yield results or does not get results for you and for your business. Um, if it doesn't, then you want to say no. If there are the benefits and there's certainly uh, ways that you can get value out of saying yes, then you want to do that. Now, what I've been talking about is mostly being around uh, asking these five questions when it relates to a business setting. When it comes to personal settings, then, you know, you, you might ask yourself one or two of these questions, but certainly you can't be using all of them, you know, whether or not there's a business advantage in something that's more personal related. You know, it doesn't, uh, that question does, is not relevant. So in that setting, if it's on a more personal setting, you want to ensure then, obviously, who is asking you that question. Uh, you know, if it's a question being asked, you know, from a family member, a child, then, you know, then it's a completely different mindset that you've got to be taking. And also you've got to be considering then the time spent with, um, let's say a family member or a child is very different. It's not only what are the advantages then for you, but it's also then what are the advantages of you giving your time to that family member, that child. So there you have it. Entrepreneurs know when to say yes and also know when to say no when they are asked to do certain things, requests from them, demands uh, are, are placed on them. So go out, use these five questions that I shared with you as a framework to better um, manage your time, delegate activities onto your team, and also lead you to a more successful day.